Megan and her daughter Lily had been seated on the airplane for almost an hour, frustration building as they awaited takeoff. Suddenly, an elderly man boarded, his slow movements and kind smile softening Megan's irritation. Seeing his discomfort, she graciously offered her spacious front row seat to him, unaware of the profound consequences of this simple act. As she settled into the seat behind him, Megan noticed the veteran flipping through a photo album filled with aged black and white images of soldiers. A particular picture caught her eye, causing her heart to race. Instinctively, she reached out to the veteran, her mind swirling with a realization too shocking to comprehend. Little did she know, this discovery would unravel a web of secrets and change the course of her life forever. But before we dive into today's story, make sure to subscribe and smash that notification button for more stories like this one. And let's start. Morgan Bry and her daughter Lily had been seated on the airplane for nearly an hour, the plane inexplicably delayed on the tarmac. Morgan's annoyance was palpable. We're going to be glued to the ground longer than the actual flight, she muttered softly. But then an elderly man boarded immediately altering the atmosphere. Morgan's irritated expression softened as she watched the ancient looking man who moved slowly but had a kind smile that melted her heart. She figured the pilots were probably waiting for him to arrive. He took a seat in the row behind her and Lily. Morgan smiled politely before returning to cuddle her daughter. However, she soon heard the veteran's discomfort, indicated by his moans and shifting in his seat. Are you all right, sir? Morgan asked, turning to check on him. The veteran responded that he was fine, though his old bones struggled with the lack of legroom and hard seating. Morgan noticed his window seat and considered his weak bladder and likely need to use the bathroom during the flight. Compassionately, Morgan picked up Lily and offered to switch seats with him, giving him the spacious front row with ample legroom. The veteran was shocked by her offer, but accepted after Morgan insisted. He thanked her kindly, but she reassured him it was no trouble. Morgan noticed the lettering on his hat, indicating he had served in two wars, and she thanked him for his service. Settling into her new seat behind him, Morgan noticed the sound of pages turning. Curious, she peeked through the gap in the backrest and saw the veteran looking through a thick, yellowed photo album filled with beautiful black and white images of soldiers. Morgan's heart warmed with compassion as she realized these must be his wartime comrades. However, her compassion turned to shock when the veteran sobbed while looking at a specific photo. Are you okay? Morgan asked again. The veteran assured her he was fine and continued flipping through the album until he reached a particular page that made Morgan's blood run cold. Morgan gasped in shock and covered her mouth to avoid making further noise. Too restless to stay seated, she approached the row where the veteran sat, tapping the shoulder of the woman beside him. I'm sorry, miss. May I switch seats with you? I really need to talk to this man. The woman agreed, and Morgan sat down next to the veteran, who looked confused. Can I help you, miss? He asked, scanning Morgan's bewildered face. Morgan explained that she had seen the photo in his album and asked if she could see it again. The veteran turned to the page she described and showed her the photo, prompting Morgan to cry softly and hug the veteran. The veteran named Henry explained the photo's significance. I fought in two large wars for my country, he began, his voice heavy with emotion. The first was in 1945 when we invaded Normandy during World War II, and the second was in Korea. These are pictures from those times. As he spoke, Henry's eyes glistened with the weight of the memories, and his hands trembled slightly as he turned the yellowed pages. He recounted detailed stories of fierce battles and the camaraderie of his fellow soldiers, men he viewed not just as comrades, but as his closest friends and brothers in arms. As Henry turned each page, Morgan's eyes widened with recognition, her heart pounding with a mix of excitement and disbelief. She leaned in closer, unable to contain her astonishment. The man in the photo, she said, her voice trembling. That's my grandfather, William. He told our family countless stories about his wartime best friend, a man who saved his life many times. Henry's expression shifted from curiosity to shock. He had never known what happened to William after a devastating minefield explosion had separated them during their last mission together. Determined to bridge the gap of years and uncertainty, Morgan invited Henry to follow her into the airport's arrival hall. There, waiting anxiously, was her father, William's son. 
Morgan whispered something to her father, her words causing his eyes to fill with tears as he looked at Henry with a mixture of hope and disbelief. Are you here for the lecture about your wartime experiences? He asked, his voice choked with emotion. Henry nodded, explaining that he had come to share his stories, never expecting to encounter such a personal connection. Morgan and her father extended an invitation to Henry, urging him to come to their home. They drove through the bustling city, eventually arriving at a quiet suburban street lined with trees and small houses. Inside their cozy home, an elderly man sat in a large armchair, facing away from the door. As he turned to see who had entered, recognition lit up his eyes and he rose unsteadily to his feet. Henry, is that you? He asked, his voice breaking with emotion. The two men embraced, their laughter and tears mingling as they reunited after decades apart. Morgan watched with a full heart, knowing that her simple act of kindness had led to this extraordinary moment. She revealed a framed photo, identical to the one in Henry's album, explaining that it had always been her grandfather's most prized possession. It was a tangible reminder of a friendship that had transcended time and distance. Henry and William spent the rest of the day reminiscing, their stories flowing as if no time had passed. They spoke of shared adventures, narrow escapes, and the deep bond forged in the crucible of war. Morgan felt overjoyed to see her grandfather so animated and happy, his eyes sparkling with the vitality of youth as he reconnected with his old friend. The two veterans vowed to stay in touch, celebrating holidays together and cherishing the renewed bond that had been rekindled by chance. And this was Morgan's story with the veteran man, a tale of how one coincidence connected her grandfather with his old mate. If you liked today's story, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to Nice Time Channel for more stories like this.